they've found, identified, they believe this particle called the Higgs boson. Mm -hmm. We have this beautiful mathematical description of what the universe looks like and how it's made, but there's one small hole in it, which is we don't understand what gives particles mass, what gives them substance. So let me just describe to you what Peter Higgs and his co-discoverers of the Higgs mechanism actually think that this is all about. Have you been to the BBC about. Canteen? So I've been to the BBC Canteen. <laughs> now, I want you to imagine that it's okay. the Big Bang. It's just yeah. happened. And way back then, okay. we didn't have a Higgs mechanism, OK? Yeah. And all the particles in the universe were whizzing around at the light, uh, at light speed, yeah. OK? So they were going around through the universe at light speed. Now, unless some of these particles have mass, they can't clump together, they can't become stars, they can't become galaxies, they can't become you and me. Right. Everything in the universe that we know would not happen unless they have mass. Mm -hmm. Now, I need you to help me with the Higgs mechanism. Okay, here it is. A few fractions of a second after the Higgs mechanism, after the, the Big you Bang, open this? we get the Higgs mechanism. Is this going to go down well this, with the people in charge of this, this studio? I hope so. Permeating <laughs> the whole of okay. space. Can I add this in? I think we've probably got enough. Got I don't enough? know. Go on, I'll, I'll give you a bit more. There you go. OK. OK. So now we have the Higgs mechanism permeate, permeating the whole of space. Yeah. And what that does is that interacts with our particles. Now, some particles, as they move through the Higgs mechanism, get very bogged down, and they become very, very massive. And that's something like a, a top quark. Mm -hmm. Now, but others, they don't interact quite so much, and so they're not so massive. And there's one sort of particle, this one's called a photon, has yeah. no mass whatsoever, and that continues to fly off at right. light speed. OK? But that essentially is what the Higgs mechanism is, but they can't look for this directly. They look yeah. for the boson at the okay. Large Hadron Collider. And that is one of the particles in the Higgs field itself, associated with the field. So that's what they think they've done today. And that helps them explain just why everything has substance, why it has mass, and why some particles uh, are bigger than others. I'm there impressed, Jonathan. Uh, just before you go, you used the word think, because as I was mentioning in my introduction, scientists tend not to be absolute about anything, and they're not saying definitively that they've found this particle, are they? They, they, they use certain uh, statistical thresholds. Uh, today, they've, they're on the cusp of that threshold. They've got enough data, enough confidence to say, we've definitely found something. We definitely have found a particle that looks like the Higgs, but we need to investigate it more to, to understand its nature and to understand mm -hmm. its properties. And once we've done that, then we can close a book on, on one aspect of, of what we understand about the cosmos and move on to some of those unanswered questions.